Hello, dear students. How are you doing? I hope everything is doing well in your side. So today's session is about a different expression of English, and it is about expressions of inquiry. As always, I would like to I would like you to remember my email in order to send me the correction of the exercises or any request or any question that you would like to ask. Before we start, you have to pay attention. There are two spelling of the same word, inquire or inquire. Either spellings can be used, but many people prefer inquire and inquiry for the general sense of ask and inquire and inquiry for a formal investigation. So in the English language, we use both of them to ask for something or to ask for a formal investigation. For example, I inquired his name. I inquired his name. Second example, the lawyers ask when the inquiry will be completed. So inquire and inquiry are more common in British English. We have a difference here. Inquire and inquiry are more used or are more common whenever we speak in British English. Inquire with I and inquiry are more common in the American English. So whenever we want to inquire something from someone, we have two methods, two common methods that we use. First one is writing a letter or sending an email. We will start first by the inquiry letter. We will write this type of letters to ask for more information concerning, for example, a product. We want to have information about a product or a service, or you want simply to have information of extra information about these two things, a product or a service. This inquiry letter most of the times describes what the writer wants and why. For example, when we write a letter to ask for more information about a product, you state in your letter the questions that you want the person to answer you and why you are writing this letter. So the word Inquiry refers to investigate or find facts about anything and in a business correspondence it means asking for information about prices, about quality, quantity and terms for supply of goods. This letter is often written in response to an advertisement. So you write this letter whenever you see an advertisement that, uh, that is published in a magazine, in a paper, commercial, or it is broadcasted on television. And you are interested to know more information about the product or to buy it or purchase it, but you would like details. So you have to write this letter. And you have to pay attention that the more unusual the request, the more convincing the reason needs to be. In the, the, the domain of writing letters, inquiring letters, we have different types of inquiry. I have selected the most used one. We have number one, which is solicited inquiry, and it, it is made in response to the seller's advertisement and publicity. So, in response to a publicity or an advertisement that is published or broadcasted uh, on TV, you have to write this letter to the seller to ask him or her for more information or more details about a particular or specific product. 
unsolicited inquiry and it is made by the buyer's own initiative. For example, I want to buy uh, a product and I send a letter to the producer to ask information by myself. I didn't see the, the advertisement or the publicity of the product. So it's my own initiative. Inquiry for some favor and it is an inquiry not about goods but it is about some other information. Maybe it is about some special price or some favorable terms. For example, uh, I want to book a room in a hotel and I have a baby. So I book a double room, but this room does not have a bed for baby. So I write an inquiry letter to the hotel manager or to the reception asking them to supply me with a bed for baby. So it is an inquiry for some favor, to do me a favor, to bring a bed, a baby bed to my room. The next type, it is routine inquiry, and it is an inquiry made by an old buyer in the usual course of business. So it is a routine uh, letter that you write each time. Whenever we want to write a letter, we have to pay attention to the structure, to the form, to the content. But mostly, a letter of inquiry should be straightforward, which means direct. You have to mention what you want to, to ask for directly, compact and courteous. It should be positive and, uh, and with confident tone which means that you should say directly what you want in a confident manner and in a positive way. Brief and to the point, which means simple, clear, using simple sentences and direct ones. To the point, you should not say a lot of details in your letters, in letter, but you should give uh, brief sentences and direct. Yet it should be clear, complete, and correct. And here we are talking about the language. It should be clear language, complete, it means structured sentences, and correct, which means the language should be correct without errors or mistakes. Uh, if we want to talk about the content of your letter, you have to pay attention to number one, subject hidden. And in the subject hidden, it should inform your reader that it is an inquiry or a request. It's not another type of uh, letter, but it is a letter of inquiry. For example, it's, you can write inquiry about textbooks. So I'm writing this inquiry letter to ask you for more information about textbooks or to ask you to send me textbooks. It depends on what you have in the, contact or the content of the letter. Or maybe you can just write request for books or query about website. So I have to tell you that inquiry, request, query, question, they have the same meaning. All of them they mean that you need information or you need more details or you are asking a question about a specific thing. The last one, <coughs> sorry, it's a question regarding product price. So these are some examples of the content or sorry, the subject hidden that you have to write in your letter, the top of your letter. Now let's move to the first paragraph. The first paragraph of your uh, letter should tell the reader what you want. Why are you writing this letter? For example, please send me and here you have to mention the things that the organization or the company or the enterprise should give you please send me more information about the products that you are producing or i would be grateful if you could tell me and of course you have to add the things that you are not normally offered and here, as you can see, we should use formal expression 
polite expression also. Number three, I'm writing to inquire whether, and you add the, 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 the sentence to your phrase, to see if something is possible. For example, I'm writing to inquire whether it is possible for you to send me 10 boxes of X product. Okay? Number four, I would especially like to know, and here you have to add more detailed request. I would especially like to know, and you add a more detailed request. Number five, could you also, and here you have to add an additional inquiry or request. For example, you have asked um, a hotel manager to send you the prices of double bedrooms. And you say, could you also send me the availability of rooms between the, uh, the dates, for example, the 1st of January till the 12th of January. So here it's an additional inquiry that you add to your previous one. Let's now look at some examples of sentences where you can use this expression of Inquiry. I'm interested in an English course at your school. Could you please send me the brochure by email? Example number two. I'd like some information about room availability in your hotel. Number three. I saw your brochure about adventure holidays and I'd like some more information. Number four. I'm writing to ask about your prices for the next weekend. So these are some examples that you can, of sentences that you can use whenever you want to write an inquiry letter. But pay attention, this is only for the first paragraph. Now let's move to the second paragraph. This paragraph actually tells the reader or the person who is going to read your letter why you are confused contacting his or her organization and gives further details of the inquiry. So here we have more detail. And as you can see, there are two reasons why we may contact an organization. When I say organization means a company, a firm or enterprise. The first reason it is you have contacted this organization before and you want to again. So we have contacted the organization by phone or we have visited the organization or maybe you have sent a letter to the organization and now you want to do it for a second time by sending an inquiry letter. Or maybe the second reason is you have not contacted the, this organization before but you have heard about them. So we have heard about them from a website or maybe from uh, on TV or on radio and you should describe from where such as from an advert or recommendation. So you do, the first one, you know the organization, you have contacted them before, but in the second case, you do not know the organization. What you know about it is you have seen it in an advert or you have been recommended or you have uh, someone have recommended this organization for you. Let's look at some examples of sentences. I saw your online advert on a website. I didn't mention the name of the website because it depends on the writer. On Thursday, 24th October 2020. So this is the, 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 the case where you have seen an advert or publicity of the organization on a website and you have also and you have to pay attention you need to mention the website you need to mention the date when you have seen the adverts because sometimes adverts they keep changing second example your enterprise was recommended to me by mrs faulkner margaret of broccoli logistics so maybe you know this faulkner margaret and she and you need a product from the X enterprise and she has recommended recommended it for you so you need to tell the the person or the organization to whom you are writing the letter where 
from where you do know about this. Then you need, uh, third thing, you need to ask questions. You need to ask questions mean you need to say or to state your inquiry. For example, so these are only some examples of questions that you may include in your letter. How much is the double room? Do you have a brochure you can send me about the prices of the room? Is breakfast included in the price? Do you provide airport transfers? This is normally uh, questions asked by a person who wants to travel to a country or a city which is not his and he has to prepare for his travel. So he needs to know if there are that rooms in the hotel, if they have brochure of prices, if the breakfast is included in the price of the room, and if they provide airport transfer, it means from the hotel to the airport and vice versa, from the airport to the hotel. So these are some basic questions that uh, a traveler may write in his or her uh, letter. But if you have a lot of questions that you need to include, you can ask them. But you can ask them only in one sentence, so as not to make your letter looks very long. For example, I'd like to book a single room for the week of 1st to 7th June. Can you confirm the availability and the cost per night, including breakfast? So in this sentence, you have one request, which is I want to book a single room. And here the writer gives the period from 1st to 7th of June. So it means that the, the manager of the hotel should make sure that the room is available. Number two, he should or she should send uh, an answer about the cost, the price of the, the rooms per night. And he or she should also send the price of the breakfast if it is not included in the night. Okay, after seeing the first paragraph, second, we will have a look at the final paragraph of the letter. This final paragraph should contain a polite expression or an expression of thanking. And you have to pay attention, we need to come back to the expressions of thanking that we have seen in a previous uh, video. This situation is formal. So you are writing a letter, you have to use formal expressions of thanking. And the degree of politeness, and therefore the length, depends on how unusual or difficult your request is. So everything is relative whenever you want to write a letter of inquiry. Some examples of thanking expressions that you may include in your final paragraph are the following. Thank you for your help or thank you for your assistance. I look forward to hearing from you soon. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much for your kind assistance. I appreciate that this is an unusual request, but I would be very grateful for any help you could provide. I look forward to hearing from you. And this is very important and needed whenever you want to write a letter of inquiry. Of course, you should be very polite whenever you ask someone to do something for you. And before finishing, you should not forget to sign up your letter. How can we sign up your, our letters? Is through the use of these two terms. Yours sincerely, and do not forget to, the comma, Yours faithfully, comma, and then you sign your letter. Signing your letter means that you need to include your full name. So, your sincerely, Balharma Suad, for example. So, by this, we need also to remember an important language that we need to use in our letter. For, inst for instance, the start, the beginning of the letter. We have dear sir or dear madam. 
in this case, whenever uh, in this case we use this dear sir or dear madam, whenever we do not know the person to whom we are sending the letter. But if you have the name, for example, uh, you are writing a letter to me as your professor, you would use dear madam or dear doctor Bilharma Saad or dear professor Bilharma Saad. So in this case, you know my name. But in some cases, you are writing the letter to a person, but you do not know his or her name. You just write, dear sir or madam. This means that you are writing to the person to whom it may concern. And it is very formal, as you do not know the person to whom you are writing. Second thing is giving reference. A given reference means you are writing the letter to a person and telling him that I found your advert in X place. You are giving the reference to your advertisement uh, or to the advertisement of the organization. I'm sorry. You would use the sentence. With reference to your advertisement in uh, uh, Washington's magazine, Thursday, uh, 20 uh, July 2019, and you continue your letter. The third thing is requesting a catalog or brochure, or it depends on what you want to ask the person for. After the reference, you have to add the comma and continue your sentence, saying, could you or would you please send me a brochure of prices? So we will start it like this. Dear sir or madam, with reference to your advertisement in, and you give the place where you find the advertisement, would you or could you please send me, and you add your request. Could you or would you please send me the brochure of prices? The next thing you have to add in your letter is requesting further information. And here I would like you to come back to asking more questions, the slide on asking more questions. You would use the following expression. I would also like to know, and you give details. Or could you tell me whether, and you give details. Then do not forget to sign your letter using your faithfully and it is very formal as you do not know the person to whom you are writing. Here you can find an example of a letter of inquiry. So in the beginning we start with an address and it is the address of the writer, then a date and then the address of the receiver. Then we have dear sir or madam and the subject on the heading, it's an inquiry about quality control course. Then you have your paragraph. I'm writing to inquire whether your company could offer a course on quality control for our managers. It's very direct. I saw your advert in the HP Daily on the Tuesday, 22 September 2009 and the quality control training course reference, and you mentioned the reference, mentioned in the advert might be suitable for us. I would like to know if it is possible for you to offer a three-month training course starting before or at the latest on Monday, 12 October 2009 for a group of 20. Could you send us some information about the teaching staff and the possible schedule for this course. So here in this paragraph, you have the writer giving details about where he or she has seen the, 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 the advert, giving the reference of the advert, and the inquiry. What do they want the organization to do for them? Number one. They want to know if it's possible to give a three-month training course. Number two, they give the period starting from or at the latest, latest on Monday, 12 October. Number three, they give the number of the participants, so it's a, for a group of 20. And number four, they want to ask 
more information or they want to have more information about the teaching staff as well as the schedule for this course. So this is a very good written uh, letter that you may take as a sample whenever you want to write an inquiry letter. And of course, you should not forget to thank the person. I'm looking forward to receiving your reply and to sign to sign up your letter, your faithfully or your sincerely. And of course, the signature, the, the full name of the person and his or her profession. Okay? Now let's move to the second type of inquiries and which is an inquiry email. So we said in the very beginning, we may ask for information or ask someone to do something for us by writing a letter or by writing an email. Whenever we want to write an email, we have to pay attention to a certain elements. I have put them in a table where we have two columns. We have the first one, it's about the context, and the second one, it's about the language used. The first one is saying how you got the contact. So here you have to mention how did you find the, the inquiry, the, 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 like what we have said in the letter, where did you find the adverb? And the language you may use, we met last Monday on your stand at the Paris Trade Fair. I'm emailing you off your website, which I found through Google. So these are two expressions that you may use whenever you want to say to the person how you got the contact, how you got his or her email. The second thing you need to mention or to give the reason why you are writing this inquiry email. For example, you would say, we are manufacturer, supplier or provider of an X product and we are interested in your uh, services and or we are a Turkish company exporting to the EU, Europe, and we need your services. So here you need to give the, the, to the writer, the reader, the reason why you are writing this inquiry email. Then you move to the third thing, which is a general request. And you can use the following sentences. We would be grateful for some information about. We would be grateful for some information about the services services provided provided by your enterprise. Or you can say, please send send us information about your product range and prices. So these are only some examples examples of sentences that you may use whenever you want to ask for or to make a request. And the request which is general. Now we will move to more specific requests. For example, you would say, in particular, we would like to know. I will give you an example. We, uh, we would be grateful for some information about the type of rooms that you have in your hotel. In particular, we would like to know if you have double rooms only or double and single room. So here you are asking asking for specific information. A second uh, sentence that you may use, please send full details of your prices, discounts, terms of payment and delivery time. Or you can use, could you also say whether there is any minimum order? Could you also say whether this is the expression that you may use in your inquiry email. And of course, you have to close your email to end it up by saying an early reply would be greatly appreciated or I look forward to an early reply and I'm sure that there is a market for your products here in Japan. So these sentences are examples of phrases that you may use whenever you want to write an inquiry email. The most important, you have to follow the structure. You have to say from where you, get, you got the contact, you give the reason for writing, you give the general request, the specific request, and you close 
your visa. I hope everything is clear and you have understood the lesson, but we still need to do some practice. Here you are, you have another exercise, you have a, an exercise that you need to answer and send me the answer by email. So now you need to write an inquiry email to a hotel manager. Select any hotel you want and write an email to the hotel manager asking about room availability and the prices of different services. For example, the price of the room, the price of the spa and the massage, the price of the meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, the price of uh, sports, if they have any sports uh, room, etc. So you have to write an inquiry email to hotel manager asking about room availability and the prices of different services. Imagine, for example, you are uh, an enterprise and you want to make a training for your employees in a hotel and you want to ask for different services. Please write an email and send me the answer via email s.ulherma.umai.ac.ma. Thank you very much for attending and I hope to meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.